Greetings and salutations. This is Akirishin. In this video, I will be featuring the Grumman F7F Tiger Cat Heavy Fighter, an American plane. It is an extremely sleek looking, very attractive design. Classified as a fighter bomber, it features four 20 millimeter cannons with damage per second at 115, rate of fire 420 rounds per minute, and the effective firing range of 760 meters. This aircraft also features four 12.7 millimeter machine guns which have a low damage per second of 45 but a high rate of fire of 750 rounds per minute. These machine guns have a medium effective firing range of 520 meters. The F7F is also equipped with 1,000 pound bomb that does 6,000 damage and has a damage radius of 90 meters. In addition, it has eight 5 inch Havar MK25 rockets that each do 1,500 damage in a 30 meter damage radius. This aircraft has a high airspeed and a long lasting engine boost of 30 seconds. To accentuate that strength, I have equipped the aircraft with Improved Aircraft Polish 3, which increases the F7F's maximum airspeed by 5% and its acceleration in a dive by 25%. I have also slotted engine tooting 3 which increases engine power by 5%. Again all in an effort to further bolster the aircraft's high airspeed. In the third upgrade, I have equipped Improved Flaps 2, which increases by 20% the efficiency of airspeed reduction with idle engine, but also increases maneuverability by 3% in turns. This aircraft is ineffective in maneuvering combat, but I did want to give it uh, some increased turning ability. I am using universal ammunition for both the machine guns and the cannons. For the machine guns, the universal ammunition has a slightly greater chance of fire versus critical damage, which is appropriate given the machine gun's high rate of fire. The universal ammunition for the cannons has equal chance of fire and critical damage. In terms of consumables, I have equipped this aircraft with control surface auto trim, which automatically restores controllability of wings and tail. There is a 60 second cooldown on this consumable and it activates automatically. Its non-gold version has a 90 second cooldown and activates manually. I equipped that particular consumable because the aircraft has large dimensions and is therefore a big target up there. I equipped automatic engine restarter which again has a 60 second cooldown and is activated automatically. 
its non-gold version as with the non-gold version of control surface auto trim has a 90 second cooldown and is activated manually. What I consider to be an absolute must on the F7F is the engine cooling consumable. As I mentioned, the F7F has a 30 second engine boost, which is fantastic. The engine cooling consumable reduces engine overheating by 70%. It is used manual, manually. It practically resets the engine boost. So you're, you can stretch the engine boost to almost a total of 60 seconds. In terms of pilot skills, in a further attempt, to augment this aircraft's greatest strength, which is its speed. I have selected Engine Guru 1 and Engine Guru 2. Collectively, those two skills increase the engine thrust for the F7F by 5% which significantly improves the aircraft's acceleration. In an effort to address any f concerns regarding fire, I have equipped Firefighter skill, which is activated by essentially uh, highly angular uh, maneuvering and velocity in any axes. Upon getting an additional skill point, I will probably drop the firefighter skill and instead go with demolition expert, which increases damage caused by bombs and rockets and their blast radius by 15%. Looking at the aircraft specifications, It is a medium altitude performer with its optimum altitude being at 1800 meters. Your high altitude performers are more at the 2200, 2500, 2800 meter altitude ranges. Its optimum airspeed is 517 kilometers per hour. Its top speed at its ideal and best altitude is 685 kilometers per hour. It takes 14 seconds for the F7F to turn 360 degrees. So it is not a very effective dog fighter. If you get into a dogfight with a turn and burn uh, fighter, you're most definitely going to lose that, as, unless the other pilot makes a serious error. Stall speed for the F7F is 180 kilometers per hour. So it, it, it easily stalls. In terms of paint schemes, you are currently looking at the marine paint scheme. This is desert, which looks hideous on the ground, I have to say. Um, it's a little bit more attractive when it's actually in the desert environment, but here at the airfield it looks, uh, you know, horrendous. <laughs> this is winter and finally summer. All right, so what we are going to do now 
is head over to World of Warplanes website, use their Compare Aircraft tool to compare the Tiger Cat to other Tier 7 heavy fighters so that you can put this aircraft in context with its peers, thereby helping you to decide whether this is an aircraft that you want to grind for or not. All right, so we are here on World of Warplanes website using the Compare Aircraft tool. I have gone into each one of these aircraft and made sure that they are fully upgraded. And we're going to uh, look through each one of these Tier 7 heavy fighters and compare them to the Tiger Cat. So let's get started. First up, we have the Kai 94i and the Arsenal VB 10. Both the Kai 94i and the VB 10 are said to be superior in gun armaments. Let's look at this a little bit further. Okay, so looking at the Kai 94i, why would they indicate that aircraft is superior in the gun armaments category versus the Tiger Cat? Well, the Kai 94 has two 30 millimeter cannons that do 160 damage per second. Now, the cannons on the Tiger Cat do 116 damage per second. Uh, so, the 30 millimeters on the Kai 94 are superior to that, but you also have another set of cannons. Uh, two 37 millimeter cannons which do 240 damage per second. Now the rate of fire and the effective range firing range on both of these cannons are inferior to that of the cannons on the Tiger Cat but most of your fighting is going to be done uh, close in anyway. So I don't know that that is too much of a limitation on the Kai 94's cannons. But what the Kai 94 does not have are the machine guns that the Tiger Cat has. And it's nice uh, to have a combination of machine guns and cannons uh, because you kind of have the best of both worlds there. The Kai 94 does not have that, whereas the Tiger Cat does. In terms of the arsenal, it does have uh, machine guns as well as uh, cannons. Now, the it has four 20 millimeter cannons. Uh, which actually do not do as great a damage as those of the Tiger Cat. Tiger Cat does 116 damage per second, whereas the 20 millimeters on the Arsenal do 90 damage per second. There are four of those on the Tiger Cat the Tiger Cat also has four cannons. Arsenal, however, has six 12.7 millimeter machine guns versus the Tiger Cat's four 12.7 millimeter machine guns. The damage output on them is also greater. The machine guns on the Tiger Cat do 45 damage per second versus the 60 damage per second done by the machine guns on the Arsenal. So that is essentially why those two aircraft, the Kai 94 and the Arsenal, are said to be superior in the gun armament category.
versus the Tiger Cat. In terms of bombs and rockets, both the Chi-94 and the VB-10 arsenal are significantly inferior as compared to the Tiger Cat. And just going in more in depth, the Chi-94 has two 250 kilogram bombs that do 4,400 damage each with a 75 meter damage radius. So essentially the Chi-94 has the ability to do 8,800 damage. In comparison, the Tiger Cat has one thousand pound bomb that does 6,000 damage. But what the Tiger Cat has that the Chi 94i does not have are rockets. And that's why the Tiger Cat is superior in that regard. And of course, the arsenal has no bombs and no rockets. So, you know, if a sector needs to be taken, like a plant that does not have air defense aircraft, the arsenal is going to have a very difficult time doing that. Moving on to hit points, the uh, Tiger Cat is more survivable than the Chi-94 or the arsenal. Uh, and you can see that in the Tiger Cat's superior hit points. Looking at top speed at best altitude, however, the Chi-94i and the Arsenal VB-10 uh, both have higher top speeds at best altitude. Average time to turn 360 degrees, the Chi-94i is by one second uh, inferior to the turning of the Tiger Cat, whereas the Arsenal is almost one second superior to the Tiger Cat. Uh, these aircraft all have the same stall speed. Optimum altitude, the Arsenal and the Tiger Cat are the same, whereas the Chi 94i falls short of the Tiger Cat by 200 meters. However, both the Arsenal and the Chi 94i significantly outpace the Tiger Cat in terms of rate of climb. All right, so let's uh, take these two aircraft off our list here. And we'll move on to the Hornet and the XP-75 Eagle, which is a premium aircraft. Uh, in terms of gun armament, uh, both the Hornet and the Eagle are said to be inferior to the Tiger Cat. Uh, if we look into that a little bit further, we see that the Hornet only has 420 millimeter cannons, which are the same, have the same stats as the cannons on the Tiger Cat. Of course, what's missing are the machine guns. Um, the Hornet does not have machine guns to augment its cannon. Uh, in terms of the XP-75, it only has machine guns. Uh, granted, it has 10 of them as compared to the four that the Tiger Cat has, but it does not have cannons, whereas the Tiger Cat does. All right, uh, moving on to bombs and rockets. Uh, the Hornet, slightly superior to the Tiger Cat in terms of bombs and rockets, um, whereas the uh, Eagle is significantly inferior to the Tiger Cat. And again, just looking to that uh, further, uh, the Hornet also has 1,000 pound bombs that do basically the same uh, damage as those on the Tiger Cat, but the Hornet has two of them, whereas the Tiger Cat only has one. In terms of rockets, the uh, Tiger Cat's 
rockets do 1,500 damage uh, in a 30 meter radius, whereas the rockets on the Hornet do only 1,000 damage. Uh, there are eight such rockets on the uh, Hornet, and there are eight ro rockets on the Tiger Cat. The Eagle has two 500 pound bombs that do 4,300 damage uh, each in a damage radius of 75. So in that sense, the uh, bombs, collectively speaking, on the XB-75 are superior to those of the Tiger Cat because there are two of them versus the Tiger Cat's single thousand pound bomb. Um, but the XB-75 Eagle does not have rockets. Uh, going into hit points, uh, both the Hornet and the Eagle are not as survivable as the Tiger Cat in terms of hit points. Uh, top speed at best altitude, the Hornet slightly better than the Tiger Cat by 30 kilometers per hour. The Eagle ever so slightly uh, inferior to the Tiger Cat by 5 kilometers per hour. Average time to turn 360 degrees. Um, the Hornet and the Tiger Cat are both uh, similar, whereas the XB-75 Eagle uh, beats out the Tiger Cat by 1.3 seconds, which can make the difference between winning or losing a turning dogfight. Of course, the Tiger Cat, you should not be getting in a turning dogfight. Um, you should avoid that like the plague. Stall speed, um, the Tiger Cat will stall before the Hornet will and will also stall prior to the Eagle. Now, for some reason, um, it is indicating that the Eagle is inferior in terms of stall speed, but clearly uh, that's not the case. It must be some sort of glitch because the Tiger Cat stalls at 180 kilometers per hour whereas the Eagle stalls at 170 kilometers per hour. So clearly the Eagle is uh, better in the stall department than the Tiger Cat. Optimum altitude, um, it's the same for the Hornet and the Tiger Cat, whereas the Eagle uh, has 200 meters on the Tiger Cat. Rate of climb, the Hornet is uh, climbs slightly slower than the Tiger Cat, uh, whereas the uh, eagle climbs uh, significantly faster than the tiger cat by uh, almost 21 meters per second. And finally, we have the Messerschmitt BF-109Z. And in the gun armaments, the BF-109Z is said to be uh, somewhat superior to the Tiger Cat. Uh, looking into that issue, what we see here is that the BF-109Z has two 30 millimeter cannons uh, that do 180 damage per second and two 30 millimeter cannons uh, that also do 180 damage per second. So what's the difference between those two? Let's see here. 240 on the rate of fire and effective firing range of 576. So basically those cannons are the same. They just uh, have a different designation. So basically you have four 30 millimeter cannons on the BF-109Z whereas you have machine guns and 20 millimeter cannons on the Tiger Cat. Bombs and rockets, the BF-109Z is indicated to be significantly inferior to the Tiger Cat. 
uh, it only has one bomb that does 4,400 damage in a 75 meter radius, and that's why it's inferior. In terms of hit points, uh, the Tiger Cat is has more hit points and is therefore more survivable uh, than the 109Z. Top speed at best altitude, the 109Z, superior to the Tiger Cat by 20 plus kilometers per hour. Average time to turn 360 degrees. Uh, both aircraft are the same in that category. Optimum airspeed, the BF 109Z, slightly faster uh, by 83 kilometers per hour. Actually, I would say that's more than slightly faster. It's definitely faster than the Tiger Cat. Stall speed, um, the Tiger Cat will stall prior to the BF 109Z stalling. Optimum altitude, the BF 109Z is 400 meters better than the Tiger Cat, which you kind of expect the German aircraft tend to be uh, high climbers in general. And likewise, the BF 109Z has a much higher rate of climb 20 plus meters per second over the Tiger Cat. All right, having reviewed this aircraft's uh, specifications, my build, and compared it to other Tier 7 heavy fighters, let's head into a battle now and see how it performs. So we have drawn the Road to Rome Ascension Theater of Operation. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. We will head over to the garrison first, gain altitude, and then head for the airbase. In the interim, we will also be paying attention to this plant and support it if enemy ground attack aircraft attempt to take it. out this placement here and what I try to do on those is to put the rocket in between buildings so that it the goal being to take out two buildings at one time Looks like we have a ground attack aircraft headed over here to the plant, so I'm going to stay maybe between these two areas here so I can support our ground pounders if they need help. Stay alert, pilot. Large enemy force spotted over the airfield. All right, so we're going to head over here to the airfield now. Actually, I see our forces at the plant are going to need some help. Let's see here. Any human pilots over here? like it.
looked like he was gonna crash into the mountainside there, did he not? Must have veered off at the last second. He sure looked like he was about to crash. Should be able to take him out. And just hope they don't drop any bombs, because if they do, we're going to be up a creek without a paddle. Must have just joined the fray. It's a heavy fighter. This is a human pilot. flip vertically here, which is the best way to flip these larger aircraft. And we're going to try to hold back far enough to where hopefully if a bomb hits we don't take it on the chin. drop a bomb here. See if I can't get it to damage that aircraft. Goodbye. And one more to deal with here single-handedly holding this sector. Die! Die! Whoa! Whew! was pretty intense and they're coming again so I think what we'll do here is we'll head up this little mountain here and as they come through we will work on them Get out of here before a bomb hits. Oh, Lord. That's a human pilot. He is probably going to get us. <laughs> they prob they have finally figured out that... Let me... Oh. Well... We did the absolute best we could, but we lost control of our wing there and uh, hit the ground. 
And here's another F7F. Well, we definitely held on to that asset for a tremendous amount of time. And I don't think we would be where we are right now had we not done so. So it's, you know, it's good on these maps, even though this is kind of the airfield is the central hub of fighting. It's very important to keep an eye on the plant over these mountains uh, because the ground attack aircraft will come in to uh, take it uh, thinking that they're not going to be challenged there. Alright, and so uh, we got flying start, effective fire, hunt for stormbird, we're killing four attack aircraft, 75 capture points, the Maguire medal for 400 capture points in a single sortie, and number one rank on our team. So you can really see the strength of this aircraft. Uh, it took a huge pounding over there with the defensive fire from those uh, ground attack aircraft, which, which can be vicious. So, uh, eight aerial targets destroyed, over 6,000 damage to aerial targets. Took out three ground targets, uh, doing 9,500 in damage. Captured two sectors, over 12,000 in combat points. And that is the F7F Tiger Cat. Very sleek, very aerodynamic, heavy fighter. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm sure that if you get the opportunity to fly the Tiger Cat, that you will have great success.